Hey guys, and welcome back to the Hey Jessica channel. I'm Jessica, and today I'm going to give you a tour of the Anchor FM app, aka my newest obsession. So, Anchor is my best friend. Like, I'm kind of obsessed. And if you'd like to know more about what it is and how you can use it in your business, I did a whole video on that that will be linked above. But today, I actually want to take you on a tour through the Anchor app because I like nerdy things and I like to show things that are kind of nerdy. So first and foremost, I want you to download it. You're either going to have to go to anchor.fm and hit the little download button there, or you can search in the App Store on an iPhone device, or I assume in whatever Android has that's equivalent. Sorry, I'm a total Mac Apple snob. So when you open up the actual Anchor app, you will see this home screen. You will be there, you can scroll through and find the people you follow and listen to their most recent content. So for instance, here's Raina Pomeroy and it's going to scroll through all of the content she's put out. Um, and then you can go all the way to the end here of all your followings and you can actually search straight from the home screen. Also on the home screen is this top right arrow that looks like a chart graph and it shows you the top charts and you can kind of scroll through and see who's in the top charts currently on Anchor. I'm not totally sure how this is figured or calculated, but I assume it has something to do with the amount of followers you have in maybe a short period of time and the amount of engagement because I just joined the app yesterday and I fluctuated between the 6th and 9th position on this top 20, which is really, really awesome. So there's Natalie Frank and uh, my, my dude, Tyler McCall, um, and then some other people. I know there's Tim Smoyer. So you can, you can get in this top ranking chart, I promise, because I did. I just joined yesterday, so you can totally do that. But you can also see the most recent things that have been published and find content that way. If you go back home, though, down here on the bottom, you'll have the search icon, so the little magnifying glass that stands for search on basically every single app. Um, and you can scroll through by category like this, like YouTubers on Anchor, Tech, Sports, etc. You can just kind of scroll through, or you can search for someone specifically or search for specific key terms. Now, once you find a channel you want to follow, you actually just click on them, which that's hilarious. I do not want to follow Hustle Cannabis, sorry. Sorry guys, sorry not sorry. Um, but like, let's say I wanted to follow Tim Schmoyer, I would just click on his account and his profile. I could go ahead and listen to the um, episodes he's put out, or I can just click the little star and favorite his channel, which is exactly what you do to follow people. Now, I don't know how you track how many people are following you, but you do get a notification when people favorite your channel. So you can see that people are consistently favoriting your channel and all of that. Okay, so to get out of that, you can either swipe down or hit the X at the bottom, and then we'll go on to the next thing. I'm gonna skip the big red plus sign in the middle right now because it's kind of an important piece and I wanna save it for a second. But if you go to the little bell, you'll see all of your notifications. So you can see when someone favorited your station, when someone applauded an episode, so they can hit the little applaud. It's kinda of like hearts in Periscope. They can hit like an applause sign that like means they're clapping for your stuff. Um, they can favorite your station. They can comment on it. Um, they can also call in. Now a call in is kind of like a radio show. People can call in on your actual episode. So if you're asking for questions or opinions or just anything, people can call in and answer that and you can actually add it to your station. So just like the radio, when someone used to call in and you'd hear like, I'd like to request you know, this love song for my boyfriend or whatever. And you would hear them asking the question. It's the same thing here. The person on the other end whose um, profile you actually call in on does not have to add it to their station, but they can. And then you can be found by all of their followers because you're on their station, which is really awesome. 
Anyway, here's all the notifications and that's where you go to do that. You can click on their picture to go to their profile or if it's a notification basically saying that they favorited your station, you can hit the little star next to them and favorite them back. Okay, so the next little thing is your actual profile. The little guy at the bottom is your actual profile. Um, you can see like who of your friends are on this list. These are friends on Facebook or if you connect another platform that can be people from there. But you can also connect other platforms like Facebook and Twitter and all of that. You can also see your station as a whole. Your station is technically what lasts for 24 hours. If you want it to last longer than 24 hours, you have to turn it into an episode. So, for instance, today I have published a couple of Anchor broadcasts. And one of them is Call to Action, Use Anchor for Your Business. Another one is, Is Anchor Just a Temporary Platform? So if I wanted to turn those two things into episodes, all I have to do is hit the little episode button and I can choose what I want to add as an episode. So all of some of these are actual call-ins that I added to my station. So for this one, I'm just going to say that I want call to action, use anchor for your business as an episode that's there permanently. I'll just hit next. I can title it, use anchor for your biz, I hit next and publish episode. Also, as soon as you do that, this screen will pop up and basically it's asking you if you want to create a podcast that will be broadcast to major podcasting networks like iTunes. So you could easily take every single episode that you make, whether that's multiple five minute clips strung together, or if it's just one five minute clip, whatever, any episode that you make. So anything you turn into an episode like I just did can go on one of those platforms. If you hit create podcast, it will create a podcast for you. It will ask you for all of this information for you to name it, hashtag all the things, but then it will publish to iTunes. It does take some time to get approved, just like if you were publishing a standard podcast to iTunes, but no big deal. Once you've created a podcast though, when this screen pops up, it will ask if you want to add it to your podcast. For right now, I'm going to say not right now because I don't necessarily want that done. Now you can also share it with your friends or again, click the little button to publish as a podcast, but I'm going to hit done. So your station again is the 24 hour limit section of Anchor. So it's what has been added to your station in the last 24 hours. If you want to keep it forever, you have to turn it into an episode, whether that is a you know, one station content piece or you're stringing multiple ones together, but you have to turn it into an episode. Then, of course, then we're back to the people. So if you want to change your name or your handle or your whatever, you just hit the little three button thing up there and hit edit profile and you can change your name, your URL, your description, your actual URL that's being published, the color that shows up behind your profile and you can connect other stations to this app. Now the best part about this is actually creating the content. So what you have to do is you just hit that little middle plus sign. Once you hit the plus sign in the middle, you'll see this screen and you can go over to interview. So you can actually pull people in for an interview style anchor broadcast. So it still has to be under the five minutes, but you can choose from your contacts or even dial a number, which is really cool. Then the most important one is this little record section and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. So if you wanted to add music to your channel lineup or your station, I don't really know the correct verbiage, you can do it here. You can add interludes. So essentially when someone clicks on your channel and they start listening to your station, they're going to hear the first thing that you published in the last 24 hours. So you could totally do like published one thing add an interlude, publish a second thing, add an interlude. So these are just to break up your broadcast essentially. Then right here on the call-ins, you can see everybody who's called in and as soon as they call in, you can hit play 
with the little plus sign you can actually add it to your station so that's really cool because they get more exposure other people see what other people are commenting on your channel and it's just all around really awesome okay but back to the record button guys so this is most important all you have to do is lift your phone to your ear literally lift it to your ear or hit the button to record your blurb so all I have to do is say, hey guys, I am recording a YouTube video right now talking about Anchor and I'm just showing them how you're going to hit the button and record your content. So as soon as you're done, then all you have to do, you can either hit undo, you can swipe through for background tracks. So if you wanted to add music behind it, whatever. What I have found about adding music behind your tracks is that sometimes you kind of sound like a porn star. Just saying. So I don't generally add background music to my tracks because I do think it makes them sound a little funny, but the options there if you want it, I did add it to my first one I ever published. I didn't love the sound of it, but that's okay. Okay, so you can hit undo or you can hit the little microphone in the middle to like add on to your recording as long as it's less than five minutes already or you can just hit the green check mark and hit done so from there you can add a caption so just caption it whatever would make sense for people to want to listen to it and be able to find it and you can share it on twitter or facebook if those platforms are attached and then you can just hit add to station and that is literally all you do or you can hit cancel and undo and delete the recording so easy right like it's so 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 easy now another quick tip you can actually go into each episode so if we're back on our profile and I click on an episode like this one I it will automatically pop up if you're in this screen who has listened now if you're just on the episode like this you can click on view listeners and you can see who's listened you can actually shout them out so um, what will happen is when the next people are listening to your broadcast it will show that person's name and kind of give them a little shout out during the broadcast which is pretty cool um, from here this is what it looks like when you listen to someone else's content um, you can comment on it with the little the little notebooky looking thing um, all the comments are public so when someone comments like you can actually see who else has commented um, I'm actually gonna add you can add the comment to your station so Natalie Frank's comment thanks for the shout out now anytime anybody listens they'll see her comment come across now you can also add applause which basically means that you're loving whatever the episode says and you the person does get notified you can reverse or fast forward in 15 second increments just like a podcast and if you go to the top little cog wheel, you can tell it where you want to listen, like in telephone mode where you have to hold it to your ear, in speaker, normal, fast, or faster. And you can choose whether or not you want to hear the applause that people are putting on the episode or not. It can be a little distracting, so sometimes it's nice to turn it off. So another thing you can do is share these episodes on other social platforms. So if you wanted to share your episode or someone else's, you just click the little doodad, that usually means share, the little thing with the arrow, and you can choose any of these options to share it to. So I can share it to my MacBook because that's connected to my phone. I can share it in a text message Facebook, um, put it in Trello, put it in Twitter, copy the URL, add to iCloud Drive, or even save to my Dropbox, which I love. So you can definitely download these episodes and do that kind of thing. Now, one last thing I want to show you is if you go back to the little plus sign and you're ready to record, you'll notice that the second little screen here um, will say visit anchor.fm forward slash clip on your desktop to add existing audio. So if you've recorded existing audio, maybe you have that five minute clip of your own podcast that is already on iTunes you want to put in here, you can go to that URL and add existing audio, which is really fun. So that's all for this anchor tutorial. And if you want to learn more about how you can stand up and make noise in your business, I have a free pop-up Facebook group just for the month of August, and I am linking it below. This group is dedicated to those of you who want to be more visible and get seen by more people so your business grows in the right ways. So go ahead and click the link below and join that group. I would love to have you. 
And until next time, hit the subscribe button below. And if you have an anchor station, make sure you link it up below because I want to know all the people, all the places. Until next time, bye y'all.